Hi hey guys, Bleach here. How's it going? Welcome to my channel. In this video I'm doing a tune-up on the snapper. Replacing the fuel filter, the spark plug, the uh, carburetor filter, and trying to drain the um, oil in this thing. I learned a thing from another YouTuber. His name escapes me. But you can drape foil over the lawnmower. And I will basically, the plan is to get it to go into the bucket. Get that up there. It's broke off the piece, it so works. Okay. I haven't changed the oil in this in three years, guys. Hoping I don't get my nice America shirt wet. American flag on it. Yeah, I'm so glad I drained the oil in that thing. It's really bad. Just look at it. I'll show up close of it. Once it gets done draining out of there. Take the dipstick out of there. And get some more air. This is what the oil looks like. It's a little low. Sometimes I fill it up over the, where the dipstick should be, and I just let it burn off. But you don't want to generally fill it up over the dipstick because um, you could uh, ruin the crankcase gasket, the oil pan gasket. And the seal would break from the pressure of the oil. I had that happen before. So, oops, oh no. I just kicked into the oil bucket. Look, I didn't walk into it. This happened before I actually walked in one of those. But let's. Sorry, I have a cramped space in the garage, guys. So, um. Can't really. It's limited space to work in here because I got so much stuff. I collected over the years. But, um, there's gas in here, but it's old. Let's take that out of there. Oop, it's pissing on gas. Look at the, the, the badness of that gas filter. How did so this set it on here and change it? I don't spill any more gas. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing with the fuel filter, so I'm gonna. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna move the camera. Hold on. Change that nasty gas filter. I should use clips on these. I do have clips, but it doesn't leak, so I don't use the clips. This gas filter hasn't been changed in years. Look how bad that is. That shitty ethanol. But, I'll just put it in somewhere for now. 
I had to get a rag for my hands. I always use these old, cut up my old swimming towels and use them. I want to access the fuel filters. I just hope it don't leak. Turn that a bit, a little over. And let's see if the fuel filter isn't backwards, I don't think. I had problems with the stuff leaking before. My uh, friend's mower was leaking because there's no clips on it. On the snapper I did. Which I should have put clips on. It wasn't leaking at the time, but the gas lines were out and onto it. I'll turn. I'll start this thing up for you guys soon. That's still um, leaking out um, fuel or oil, I should say. I wish it would come out faster. I'm going to do something a little unorthodox and then pull that helps and then dump some gas into the engine. I'm going to use two cycle. It might help speed things along and clean everything inside. That's good enough. Oh, it's really pissing out of there. Maybe I'll let it set overnight and come back and put oil in it. Alright, guys. Let's change the spark plug. It still has oil coming out of it. I got a spark plug gapping tool. Let's gap it where it should be at 25 because it doesn't look right. If I can see correctly. 25 is right there. The spark plug's messed up. Looks like it's been hit. The spark plug, guys, looks like it's too far down on the thing so I'm going to pry it up with the screwdriver I'm going to set it careful not to break it can't see what I'm doing doesn't it look better now and uh, now I'm going to gap it with my spark plug gapping tool if that'll even work I'm going to gap it at 25. Alright, it's gapped at 25. See? What we can see. It won't focus very good, the camera. And I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. That's always nice. using a champion plug 
It's a RJ12YC which goes in these uh, intacts. Hold on, I'll try something. Oddly enough, the spark plug is a different size than this one. And it's metric, it's a 9. Took me a long time to find the right size for it. Take a good look at that spark plug. I don't think it's the same diameter as this one. Speed it's the Briggs and Strat plug, and it's longer shaft than the one I have. I better save that plug just in case this one doesn't fire. I, was, I thought it was was uh the uh, right size as you can see it's longer I just worry it won't work I'm surprised that wasn't hit the piston now I can't get it in There's a bird in my garage. I don't know if it's bad luck or what. Come on, birdie. Come on, birdie. Birdie. Oh, there's a... He can get out. He can get out. Alright, let's see here. What's next on the agenda? It's a uh, let's get some oil in it. But I kind of want to see the change the filter first. About 15 minutes, so it gets dark, guys. I have to continue this another time. But we have light in the garage. Wait, I'm missing a thing. Let's uh, get rid of this oil first. That's right. Alright, I got a cloth. I'm covered in oil. Let's look at that. It's not a good you know, discosity of oil in there. 
that's even a word. My own word, viscosity, viscosity of oil. This is fun doing this. I gotta get this oil out of the way when I stop in it. Let's go uh, put it over here for now. <clears throat> and then I'll dump it. Once I use the funnel to put oil in. And my good funnel is on the floor. With mud on it. There's my funnel. I got it at the dollar store, isn't it, Spiffy? Alright. Put some oil in there. Then we'll change the filter. Then we'll start it up. See how it does. Maybe I should wait to start it up to the oil saddles. Shoes. I thought I had it out of the way good enough. I want to dump a little of this oil in here to make sure it's clean. Yep, that's the right oil. I got heartburn. Good enough. That is good enough. Let's uh, let it settle a little bit and then we'll see what it measures at. Okay, get it together. <laughs> I better dump the oil. I didn't want to put have dirty oil onto the um, funnel to put back in the engine. That's why I put the oil in it first. Might need a little more oil though. <sighs> Let's get rid of this oil. Take this oil and get rid of it somehow, somewhere. Hopefully, this oil that came out of the machine is it too much for this bottle? Just look at that, guys. That is some terrible oil. Poor lawnmower. Gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, blah. terrible. I haven't changed the oil in this in three years. Put it through a rod or something. Burning that oil. Blah. Blah. Yucky oil. It's got some little particles going in it. Blah. Now I'm going to dump a little gas in there to flush the filter. Contaminants. A little piece of grass right there or something. Get that out of there. This gas is old, doesn't matter. Probably burn it my weed whacker anyways. I'm gonna wipe the funnel. 
so I don't put like straight gas into my lawnmower. I already did that to flush it out. Oh, what am I doing? I'm getting tired. Wipe my hands off, guys. Wipe the hands off. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Birds are chirping. Let's get this off here. Wait a minute. Put the camera so you can see what I'm doing. See what I did there, guys? Isn't it brilliant? Alright. Hopefully, I brought the right for gas or a carb filter. Okay. This is a little bit dusty to bet. I'm going to wipe it with my cloth. I'll see about getting us in the new filter. Alright. I'll give you a better shot of what I'm doing. Batteries are about to die. I use these batteries for a long time. I use a hair in my mouth. Okay, get that out of there. It's not too dirty. But. It has more life on it. And that filter's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I think we'll still use it. Because it doesn't look too bad. Looked bad from my house. But when I looked at it before, now I got more light in here, I can really see it. Are you that birdie? Come on, stay pre filter. The bird's screwing around in here. Cut it out, you! I can hear you! Birdie, birdie, birdie! They're gonna be building nests in here, probably. Let's check to see what the oil looks like. I'll dump a little more in. Right at the ad mark. I did it right. See it? Mm. I'm afraid to fire this thing up. It's got good oil. Oh. This worry the oil's not all the way in the engine yet. Gotta sharpen the blade on this soon. It's a little too late for that. See if it'll fire. Oh, 
like that. Sounded good. Not bad, fire too. Set smart love after all. Oh, you don't have a problem with the carburetor. It might be the gas. And Does it want to fire? I ran last time I had it. I had the wrong plug in it. I don't know why I don't have the gas turned on, that's why. Can't see if it's getting gas. That's not good, now I'll fire. See how it's getting, the muffler's getting red? Looks like I gotta adjust the valves on it. Or that's, 
and uh, doesn't have enough octane in the gas to fire. But there might be something wrong with the exhaust valve, so I'm going to adjust that in another video. But, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll put it in this video. I want to take the spark plug out of this and see if it makes a difference. It's a Marvel's mystery oil in there, guys, to treat the gas, if you can see. I don't know if you can treat stale gas with it. Let's try it again. I'm going to drain the gas out of this thing, guys. And put some fresh gas in it, see how it does. Guys, she's uh pissing out gas and draining it. I put here's my weed eater. It's the WC2000. And um, it needs better gas in it than that. Hi, guys. Not sure if you can see that, but gas is 359 here and diesel is 499. Runs a lot better, guys. This is day two of the Snapper tune up. I went to the store, got fresh gas. It's like three thirty nine. I bought three bucks. Um, I had the fuel filter on it backwards. That could have contributed to it. I'll show you on this one. I had it just like that, and it's supposed to go like that. Wait, I hit it this way, and I put it this way. So the fuel comes right out of the gas tank into the carburetor that way. And now I got oil on my hands. So oily! This is the uh, extra Tecumseh starter I have off the generator I had, if you remember that video. I tried to engage it with my jump pack and it won't engage. It did before. I hope it does not hurt from setting. The other Tecumseh started the bolt 
was on this side, but it, it's on the left on this one. I could be wrong. But, we'll see how it goes, and maybe we'll have a nice rear engine Murray running by the time we get done with it. I bought a head gasket for it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. We got 1,403 subscribers. We're doing well. Bleach is moving up on the YouTube chain. 13 years plus and 1,400 subscribers. I wish I had more like the bigger lawnmower channels, but maybe we can get there together. And we can all be awesome on YouTube land. But I'm going to let you guys go. This is the end of the video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and uh, sub. Write a comment. Even if it's fire up the stamp or just fired it up for you guys. Peace, guys. See you in the next one. Love you guys. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye.